In 2016, um, red dots started to appear on my tummy and my back. They got larger and started to look like rings. This then spread to my legs and my arms and my neck. And I was prescribed different creams, but unfortunately they didn't work. That's when I went to the hospital and was diagnosed with psoriasis. When these red dots started to appear, I had no idea what they was, and I was very self-conscious. I'd never had any prior skin conditions, so these red dots were so unfamiliar. I was really young and I just wanted to go out and I did notice that people were looking at me and people would ask what was wrong. If I was going out in town, I'd be wearing long sleeve dresses and going to work, I was wearing shirts instead of t-shirts. I just didn't want people to notice my skin. And I started to go to the doctors and I had a fair few appointments and we just couldn't find what was causing my skin to look like this. I think they initially thought it was ringworm purely because it did look like ringworm. I was prescribed thrush cream to put on my skin and this wasn't working. I was prescribed other creams and I was soon getting frustrated that the creams were never helping my skin. It was so hard to apply three times a day because it was all over my body. My skin was really sore, I was more itchy and my skin was a lot drier than it could have been. I was just getting more devastated and frustrated and that's when I asked to be referred to a specialist. When I had my first hospital appointment, I remember standing there and the specialist looked at my skin and within a second, she diagnosed as psoriasis. It was such a relief when she told me I had psoriasis because I knew I had a correct diagnosis and I could start treatment to help my skin. I never thought my skin was psoriasis, even though my dad has psoriasis, just because they look so different. Mine almost looks like chicken pox and people often ask me, do you have chicken pox? It wasn't until I went to the hospital that I found out that the problem was actually inside and I can't fix psoriasis with creams on the outside. I started light therapy. So with the light treatment, I was going to the hospital three times a week and each time the doses increase and so is the time that you're spent in the box is increased. And that actually did have a really good effect. My skin was clear, but after a few months, my psoriasis came back. I thought the light treatment was going to fix my skin. It never crossed my mind that the psoriasis would come back. So after the two courses of light therapy, I then went travelling and it was the sunshine that really helped my skin. I was trying to be in the sun as much as possible and I was in Australia and New Zealand in countries where you can't wear long sleeves all the time. You have to be in bikinis. I was away from home so I couldn't have any treatment. I couldn't go to the doctors and get different creams. It was the case of just accepting my skin and I think that's what I needed to really love myself. I originally started my Instagram because I wanted people to know what psoriasis was. A lot of people would approach me and say, what is wrong with your skin? And I felt so self-conscious and I, and I thought if they knew what it was, they wouldn't have to ask. But I've met so many people with psoriasis and I feel like we help each other to be more confident. And one of my friends from work found my Instagram and I had no idea that she had psoriasis. Um, a bit like me, I used to hide it. And it was really nice because she was able to ask me questions and I was able to let her know what I've been through. Putting myself out there has really showed me that I'm not alone. There's so many people with psoriasis that also hide it. I feel like it's not until you speak about psoriasis that you find out more people have it. I don't hide my skin anymore. When people ask me what's wrong, I see that as an opportunity to educate them on psoriasis. I think when you learn there is no cure, you're no longer hoping that a cream or a treatment is going to fix your skin. It's accepting that this is who you are and just learning to love yourself.